Cars are an excellent idea for joystick users, as they can drastically improve the aim of the user's weapons. They can make the joystick less sensitive around the middle and a lot more agile around the end of the axis. So this allows the user to be a lot more fine controlled when they are only making small adjustments, but when they make large adjustments, the effect of the aiming is a lot uh, greater and allows you still to remain maneuverable, but also allow you to aim. So you don't really lose anything. So why are they worth it? Well, it's free. It only takes a few minutes. The only downside is that if you've never used them before, it can take a little bit of learning to adjust. In the long run, it's very much worth it. So how do we set them up? So first, we need to download VJoy. So this allows the joystick to transmit info into the program, and then the program creates artificial data, which sends into the game. This is the uh, VJoy. We just literally click vjoysetup.exe, and then we need to uh, download Joystick Gremlin. So once you've installed it, you'll probably be uh, put up with this menu. So depending on your joystick and thrust controller, those two may change. So the T.16KM um, is, is my current joystick, uh, and I'm using a TWCS throttle. So it's a very, very popular choice for Elite Dangerous, and I imagine a lot of users will be using them watching this video. So how do we set them up? Well, first, we want to activate a particular mode called Input Repeater. Now, what this does is, it repeats your input just a couple of seconds after. So this means that it, when Elite Dangerous um, picks up your input, it, uh, it won't pick up your actual joystick, it will pick up the virtual one when you're setting it up. The issue is, Elite Dangerous will pick up both your normal and your virtual. So what we need to do is we need to prolong the amount of time for the virtual one to be active. So what this means is, uh, we're just gonna use an input repeater. Now, once you're done with the entire setup and you've set all your um, keybinds within Elite Dangerous, you can turn that back off because then it will break your aiming otherwise. So I really highly recommend that after you've done everything, you turn that back off. So how do you set up a curve? So you wanna go into Joystick Gremlin, you wanna to go to your X axis, or actually we're gonna go for the Y axis first. So we're gonna to go to Response Curve, Add It. So currently this is like a standard joystick where the acceleration is the same throughout. So we're gonna turn on this. I'm gonna turn on diagonal symmetry and force smooth curves. So this allows us to play around a bit and get a correct adjustment. So as you can see, by moving these up and down, you can create different shapes. So if you make it about this shape here, that should be fine. You're not done yet because you're gonna need to add a remap. So you just add it in, joystick, device one, aka t.16km, and on the y-axis, because we are on the y-axis. So that should work. So now we move on to the x-axis. We do the exact same thing, response curve, add. Again, we need this, diagonal symmetry, four smooth curves. And again, we just adjust it slightly. So we just need to finally adjust this. We don't want it too steep because that means very high sensitivity around the center, but we don't want it too little because then that means otherwise you'll move your joystick and nothing will happen until right at the end and all of a sudden it jumps. You don't want it to jump. You want it to be reliable and stable. So again, about that far will work. So now we want to do the Z rotation, which is turning your ship left or right. X, uh, y, X axis is turning your ship up and down. Y axis is rolling your ship left to right. So when I again add a response curve, when I go for this. So if you're a plasma accelerator user like me, you still want a bit of snap. So you, you don't want it too fine. And uh, I tend to use Z rotation whenever I'm aiming side on. So it's very helpful that I still have it with some decent amount of uh, sensitivity. So that should work. Then again, we just add a remap, check its Z-axis, uh, Z-axis rotation just for simplicity's sake. So now we just wanna save the profile, uh, save it as whatever you want. Uh, you may wanna set up the throttle, the same apply. You just gotta remember which ones are which. Um, but for uh, currently, we're just gonna do the joystick. Before we go into the game, we are going to need the repeater enabled. So just to enable it, we're gonna to need to uh, just do it from here. So it's just tools, input repeater. So it's different here is 
we need to first move the joystick. After we've let go of the joystick completely, we need to click on the move axis. Move the joystick and then click that. Then it will set it right after, even though I didn't touch the joystick. So we do the exact same for the roll. So we just pretend as if on the joystick we're rolling it and then completely let go and then it will set it. For the pitch, we pretend we're doing a pitch on the um, joystick and then we press the, and then we, and then it sets. So after we're done, we just click apply, back to main menu and then it will be set.